Hey guys, I'm Sebastian, host of Ninth Island Connection, your weekly resource for all things Vegas. Check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. That's right, we have a television show that airs throughout the country on various platforms, various stations. Check out the description so that you can see how you can watch our television show. It's all about Vegas. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to our channel. Go ahead and subscribe. All we do is bring you Vegas. Room tours like this one that we're gonna do right here. Pros and cons videos, pools, everything going on in Vegas. You're gonna to wanna to subscribe. All right guys, so this is awesome because this is the first time that we've stayed in this room type here at Flamingo. And if you follow our channel, we spend a lot of time at Flamingo, probably the most of any of the properties here on the Strip. And we've stayed here I don't know, hundreds of times over the years. This is the first time that we've ever been in this room type. This is a premium One King non-smoking. Now it's kind of like a mini suite, I guess, but there's not separation. I'll show you more about that here in a second. Right here, we're in the entry, which is pretty standard. You can tell that they've put some paint on the walls though. This has been remodeled, I guess, this room. So let's check it out. So first, you're gonna have your closet right next to the door, which is pretty standard. Yep, basic, you got a little dresser, a few hangers and a light sensor. And you know what, that's kind of disappointing because when do you see the room to have just this tiny little closet? Doesn't really fit, but anyway, let's move on to the bathroom. This is again, basic but clean and like they've touched it up. One thing that's interesting about this mirror, the backlit mirror, is that's the same wall type or wallpaper, whatever it is, that they use in Planet Hollywood. Plenty of space though. And then you have your shower, walk-in shower. I mean, it's fine, it's all right. You have your soaps, shampoo and stuff there. Now let's get into the room. Before we go in, this is 19151. Let's go check it out. So when you walk in, you walk into just a big open space. This is like the living room area. Let's go. We got a nice mirror over here. A little bit of art, iconic flamingos, of course, and then you have your flat screen. And then you've got plenty of seating. This one actually spins around so that you can sit here waiting for your husband to come in late from the casino. <laughs> oh, look, you've got a little table and chairs over here too. I'll be having coffee in the morning. It's pretty nice though, love these lamps. It's pretty nice and spacious. I mean, look at all this space that you have over here. And then you've got right back here in the other part of the room. I guess this is the separator of the two spaces, the living room area. And now you have the bedroom area, which actually is really nice. You've got an end table on both sides of the bed. Looks like there's some charging ports right on the side. Yeah, you USB ports and stuff right here on the sides on both nightstands. That's a nice touch. And then you've got your little entertainment center. What is this? And this is the second flat screen. So you have one over there and you've got one here. Looks like you get complimentary coffee in this room also. That's a nice touch. And then, you know, I'm looking for the fridge. There it is. Get a complimentary refrigerator, which is nice, especially when you're here for longer stays. Like today, we're here for three nights. So it's nice to have a refrigerator because we bring our own water, we bring some snacks, so it's nice to have that there. Also, because we're local and we drive in, we live just about 20 minutes, we keep our leftovers from the restaurants because that's one of the things in Vegas, you get such big portions, right? So we keep our leftovers and we take them home with us. So you have your safe, a couple shelves in here. There's no money in there, so. Let's see, there's another little storage space here. There's no drawers in here to unpack your stuff. You can just have that little closet. I guess you can use the shelves, right? Let's take a look at this view. So this is floor 
almost to ceiling windows. We have a view of the Flamingo Habitat, Carlos and Charlie's, which is so much fun. And then we've got the pool on this side. Check it out. Check this out, guys. You've got more windows over here on the bedroom side. Let's see how do we open this thing? That's really nice. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this one. As always, we wanna hear from you. Comment below, what are your thoughts on this premium, mini suite-ish kind of room here at Flamingo with this amazing view? Have you stayed in one of these rooms before? And as always, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you guys. If you guys haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a like and share your comments below. And one bonus, we go live every single Wednesday between the hours of noon and 1 p.m. Vegas time, where we bring you an update on what to expect that upcoming weekend. So we go live on Wednesday, we give you an update on what to expect Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday if it's a long weekend. We're talking construction, traffic, weather, what pools are open, what's closed, new restaurants, events going on in town so that you can have the best possible trip while you're here. All right, guys, that's a wrap for me. Thanks again. Four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.